Researchers reporting in the journal Nature Medicine have discovered a new molecule in mice involved in obsessive compulsive disorder. It opens up a specific field for treating uh, OCD model based on the defects of this molecule. Three years ago, Dr. Rafi and his team at the Weill Cornell Medical College in New York found a new set of genes expressed in blood stem cells. They decided to knock out one of these genes and see the effects in mice. Nothing happened, but the researchers didn't give up on the animals. We were pretty frustrated, but a couple of months later, uh, we suddenly realized that those mice have a weird behavior. The mice were scratching at their faces nonstop. So much so, in fact, that they rubbed the fur and skin right off their cheeks. Uh, this mouse behaves uh, pretty strangely. It's, it overgrooms itself, and you can see uh, that the lesions uh, start developing under the uh, eyes in the facial area. The researchers knew they were onto something. So they teamed up with WOW psychiatrist Francis Lee, and right away Dr. Lee knew that the mice were exhibiting hallmark signs of obsessive compulsive disorder. This is a classic behavior for what we believe to be indicative of a behavioral endophenotype of obsessive compulsive disorder, which is essentially a repetitive behavior that essentially is, goes to the point of, of self-injury, which is, actually happens with patients who have obsessive compulsive disorder. The researchers examined these mice in a number of ways. They set up a test where they placed 20 marbles on top of a bed of sand and watch to see how many of the shiny marbles the mice would bury. And we noticed that if mice that lack this gene would bury a significantly more number of marbles, suggesting that they have increased repetitive behavior and potentially increased anxiety-like behavior. So it's sort of like humans who, who are anxious and are fidgeting with their fingers. They're actually, mice actually like to, when they're anxious or display anxious-like behavior, they like to bury things. So it's, it's sort of more ethologically correct for the mice. Yeah. They also gave the animals a generic version of the drug Prozac and found that it prevented the mice from overgrooming. All these observations led Dr. Rafi to hypothesize a role for this particular gene, known as slit RK5. It may play a role in this specific area of the brain to regulate the size and the branching of some neurons that are important for behavioral function. The mouse model can now be used to better understand what leads to OCD as well as find new drugs to block it. This is a new molecule that had not been known to be involved in any aspect of neurobiology. So it, it will provide and hopefully enrich the anxiety disorder field by now providing a new target potentially in the future for drug development. For Nature Medicine, I'm Ailey Dolgan.